tapes and one of them was cream live and I put it in there and it got where it wasn't playing so good so I shoved a pack of matches up underneath it got stuck in there got it where it played and that's the only thing I listened to for <laughs> for oh man literally that truck died in Oklahoma <laughs> and uh, I never saw it again yeah but the music went on it did all good it did, yeah. You know, it's it's funny though because because I really it's kind of like in my DNA, you know, that Cream Live. It's yeah. I never really listened to a lot of Clapton. Um, actually, I didn't know Eric Clapton was the guitar player for Cream all those years. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> you know. It's, uh, but I, I did know who Jimi Hendrix was. Uh, although I didn't grow up listening to Hen Hendrix, I grew up in a house that had Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah. Yeah. The green, green grass at home. It was a Baptist home that I grew up in. And we just, I mean, my parents weren't against rock and roll, it just wasn't really what they listened to. My mom was a classically trained pianist, and we had Roy Clark, and Hee Haw, and you know, stuff like that. And so when I discovered Jimi Hendrix, I was so excited. <laughs> I just couldn't contain myself, so I went out and got the biggest amp I could get, and you know, I'll, and when the gods made love, that was the first Hendrix tune that I ever heard, you know, and that's just nothing but feedback. I, I had no idea what that was, so I sat in front of my little amplifier that I got with my first babysitting job, and turned it up as loud as it go, and I point my guitar in which direction. It was um, my parents didn't know what to think. So. Wait a minute, somebody let you watch their baby? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not exactly. <laughs> that was an only child. One babysitting job that I had, uh, I had to change diapers once. And there, you know, the, the young one was obviously in diapers, and his sister is about four. She came out and she looked at me really weird. I put the pampers on wrong side out. And, uh, so I, I don't really want my thing, so I get back to doing what my thing is.